Jake from Team Insanity and I have a special review today got the Bob Long MVP and first things first thank you Isaac who sent me the gun to review he is a nice viewer and everything he helps us out all the time talk to him at Living Legends all this other cool fun stuff and he was nice enough to let me borrow his Bob Long MVP so I could review it and go through it and just play with it and have a good time with it so he was nice enough to send it and um, one of the other guys also sent me an Empire Sniper so thank you Isaac for sending me this for the review so first things first MVP Mark Victory Pump that's what it stands for this is basically all Mark internals okay that's what this is it's just a mark okay a mark without eyes a mark without a board um, a mark with a pump kit that's sort of what this is now my first impressions on it is like when I get it in my hands I'm like wow this is this is pretty light and I do like the milling on it it looks pretty cool you know Bob Long has nice milling I like the cuts on it if you look at it it's a beautiful gun when you look at it I really enjoy the milling, milling of this it looks very nice and well put together everything lines up perfectly all the lines it's just it's nice and I overall really do like the looks of it so good job Bob but the thing is, with this really reminds me of, I mean, this isn't a, this isn't a very expensive price range, okay? For this to be priced at where it's at, I mean, that's kind of a big deal because you, instead of buying an MVP, you could buy a well-trusted um, CCM pump, okay? You could even buy one, a CCM used less than this for like an extra 50 to 100 or $200 for depending upon what you want. I mean, sometimes you could probably make you could probably make a CCM pump come in under this, but most of the time they are probably right there and maybe a little bit above it. Just so to give you an idea, I mean, a lot of people that have pumps are using CCMs and the expensive pumps. I must say, they're not using. I don't see many people with Bob Long MVPs or Empire snipers or anything like that. I see them building their own guns and doing that kind of stuff with it. So. For Bob to price it where it's at, he had to make the best pump I think you would ever have to make. And the first thing that I this reminds me of is it's sort of like a Phantom, okay? That's sort of where I feel like it went with this because it's not a cocker pump and it's just one tube, one body. So I think he tried to mill this down as light as he could possibly get it and make it as light as he possibly could. And I have to say, going from I used to have a Phantom that's sort of what this reminded me of when I got it in my hands either even though my Phantom was smaller and lighter I still I'm just like wow that's that's kind of like a Phantom that reminds me of a Phantom that's sort of what this reminds me of is when I got it in my hands so the pumping kit on this is actually really really nice that doesn't remind me of a Phantom because my Phantom I mean it was alright but it wasn't the best it was what you pay for and for this it's really really short of a pump handle I mean, it does it. It's really short, really short, and I mean, it, it is nice. I have to say, it is very nice that way. And when you air it up, I'd have to say it's kind of. I don't necessarily like it with a whole 68 tank, but you can definitely change whatever tank that you want. But it is comfortable with the tank. But by the time you add a tank, a rotor, all that, I mean, it's kind of. I mean, it's kind of. I don't know. I, I just it gets a little bit more heavy for where I want it for a pump even though I do use an autocopter pump it feels really I still really like the feel of it right here but then when you add a rotor or whatever hopper you're using unless it's a hundred round I feel like it tends to get a little bit more heavy for what I'm liking for a pump and the thing is that I like about the autococker is that I have a nice reg to hold on to down here and it's more I feel like it's more comfortable heavy that's like it's more like this this is meant to be light and then when you add like a rotor in a 68 tank and a heavy ass tank and add the paint it doesn't feel comfortable heavy and I can use an autococker pump and it can be heavy but I can actually like like the feel if you know what I mean like it doesn't feel uncomfortable using a heavy tank and a heavy hopper on a bigger autococker stretched out I have tons of room and it's more fit in my hands I guess you can say like this I had to get used to that a little bit because I'm used to using autococker pumps, which is not a big deal. But that's one thing that I was kind of a little bit of an issue is I'm just like, wow, this with this rotor and this tank on it, it's pretty damn heavy. And that was sort of an issue, but 
whatever, I got over it and I started to get used to it when I started playing with it. Now, like I said, this pump kit is very, very amazing because it, it's running on um, 12 brass ball bearings. So it's probably one of the most precise pump handles, the most precise pump stroke, one of the best that you'll ever get. It smooths really, it goes really, really nice. I mean, it's it's just overall a really nice pumping kit. Um, the feed neck, it runs on, I mean, it's a nice, really easy clamping feed neck. You just turn the lever and that's how you tighten it and loosen it. Thank God he didn't make it so you have to take an Allen key and tighten it like a lot of other companies do that. Thank you, Bob. But, I mean, on the internals, it's really smart on what they did on the internals with how the brass works and everything. It runs on a brass system, so it, it works itself in and it gets better over time. And I go over that more in the maintenance video. But overall, my thoughts on the MVP is that it is very, very nice. has a very nice pumping, um, a very nice pump stroke, very nice trigger overall, you know. I like it for now and what we'll do is we will bring it in, I'll show you how to maintenance it and then we'll pull the camera out and do the conclusion. So it's pretty simple, you just take out those little screws and you just pull the body apart and bada bing bada boom, there you go, you get the trigger, you get the trigger, this bottom half, you can just set that off to the side and here is the pump assembly itself, here is the pump arm now, take it apart. What you do is that you have a little back piece back here. You just pull all this up together and you pull this out. You don't want to lose this. There is some really nice springs on here. You don't want to lose those. And then you take out the pump arm itself. Now what I really did notice is getting shot in the pump handle is that there's a bunch of little milled out holes right here. Um, is paint can get in there and it is a pain in the ass to get that out because I mean it's like Q-tips don't really fit in there. I mean, it's kind of, it, it's, it's a pain to be honest with you. So, I mean, I just was sitting here blowing on it. I was blowing in these holes and wiping it down as it goes, insert immature joke here. And so I was blowing in those holes and it was all, all the paint was coming out and it was just sort of a pain in the ass. And so you have these really nice springs and everything back here for the pump. Now, the thing is that you can make this like pure cut you can customize it how you want like my mini oracle i have it so i have a lot of blowback because i like having that really super 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 nice pump stroke <clears throat> and it slides very well but i mean i do get some blowback with it and the thing is that you can make this there there is an o-ring up here someplace where you don't where you can make it so you don't get blowback which is really nice for some people who want to get maximum air efficiency stuff like that but it, it is going to make the pump stroke and the, how it shoots a little bit meh. Um, that's just my thoughts on it. Now, take out the bolt assembly. It's pretty easy. Just let's pull this out. Now, this is all brass. This is a brass system. So, brass is like a self-lubricating system, according to Bob. And, which is really, really cool. So, as time goes on, it doesn't wear out, it wears in and it only gets better over time. So sort of like DMs, if you guys shoot DMs or any or any bob long gun basically, when you get it out of the box you're just kind of like, oh right, that shoots alright. And then after you put 10, 20, 30 cases in it, you're like, wow, this shoots pretty damn good. And after everything wears in and breaks in, it only starts to shoot better. It shoots better and better and better as it breaks in, which is really really nice which is really cool and I'm just gonna wipe off this part of the bolt and I like to wipe everything down on the inside of the body too just to make sure now here basically MVP stands for you know I already mentioned it earlier but it stands for mark victory pump this is mark internals this is all mark shit right here and that's why everyone asks is why is this gun so expensive and all that is because it's basically a mark it's a mark just without eyes and a board. That's the, that's basically the difference. Is that it's a mark in a different body. It's in, it's a mark with a pump handle on it. That's the difference, and that's why it's so expensive. Is that it still takes a lot of money to make mark internals. Apparently, now, um, a lot of people like the Mark series, and if you like the Mark series, great. This could be a nice pump for you. 
but it is on the more expensive side, which I talked about earlier. Now you just take this part off, pull out the valve. Now, what I do suggest is if you didn't even watch my Phantom video, my Phantom review is this is you don't want to pinch this with like pliers or anything like that. You don't want to force this in anywhere because this is a really thin. This is where a lot of your air. This is where all your air comes through basically. And if you pinch this, if you push it, if you do anything to bend it or make make you know hold down airflow you're gonna have a really shitty bad time and your pump is not gonna shoot like it's supposed to so good luck and I'm just gonna try to wipe everything down in here now a lot of people use Dow 55 on Bob Long stuff I don't have any Dow 55 so you guys are just gonna have to suck it It's kind of a pain in the ass to, to clean everything in between these springs. And I didn't even get all of it because it's a pain in my fucking ass. Um, but yeah, they also have... You, you can get different springs in here too. So if you want to shoot different velocity, if you want it to shoot differently, I mean, I, you know, you can, you can do that. It's pretty customizable, which is really cool. I mean, he kind of had to make it customizable to a certain degree because you know you have to remember CCM I mean there's some CCM pumps that are really really nice that are priced at the same exact price range for this so he had to somewhat make it you know you have to put different springs in it and give people an option on what kind of stuff you can get on it because there really is I mean there there is a lot of things that um, you can do to this and there's a lot of things that you can do to CCMs too I pulled out an O-ring, let's just place that back, no big deal. Alright, so, as you can see, there's still, god damn, there's still some lube and shit in there. I'm not going to worry about it too much, because it doesn't look like, it looks like it was just clean before this gun was sent to me. And, now I'm just going to wipe everything else down over here, and I'm not going to take this part really apart, and there's no need. A lot of people know what it looks like, and it's going to take a little bit of hater marmalade. I love using this on, like, regs and that kind of stuff. Some great stuff. It's nice and thick. It lasts a while. I've had this stuff for... since I owned my Dangerous Power G4, so if you've known me, if you've watched the channel since I've had a Dangerous Power G4, you know how long ago that was. Hashtag throwback. Just slide around in. All right, it's nice. All right, let's take this. And I like to lube the threads. I like lubing threads on everything because it's just easier to get out or get apart next time that you go to take it off. I don't really rub it in. I I let it it thread itself in. Because if you let it thread itself in, then the lube will work its way into the threads. And it just, it's all around nicer, so. Lube these O-rings right here. I mean, this is pretty basic. I mean, it's not too hard. It's not like you have to take apart an autococker, which is really nice. So, I mean, you can do this all on the fly. You can do this at the field. It's not like you have to take apart an autococker, retune it. I mean, even though you don't have to always retune an autococker pump after you use it, but I mean still, it's nice. Alrighty. Now I'm just going to slide the whole entire bolt assembly back into the frame. It's pretty simple, so we're just going to slide everything back together. I did, you have to make sure that you have to put the bolt on right. A little groove has to go right here. It's pretty simple stuff. Just gonna give it a little bit more grease. Now we're just gonna grab the body. And just slide around in. She's nice and lubricated, nice and wet. 
now we just have to put this back together is that there's two little holes right on the pump handle right here and right here and you just take this and you slide it right on maybe these little springs right here you don't want to lose them like I said and then you just push them forward a little bit and then it reveals a little metal where you slide it onto the pump handle does, does not take a rocket scientist to figure this stuff out and then you just want to make sure that she pumps alrighty so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save the process of putting it all in together because it's a very boring process for you guys so what I'm going to do is slide this bolt forward and I'm going to tighten all the screws down, bring it out, and we can do the conclusion. In conclusion, overall it's a good gun. It does make a weird farting noise. It shoots good. And I also like how you can change out the springs and make it, you know, you can make it how you want it. If you want blow back, if you don't, all that different stuff. There's things that you can do to this to make it yours. But at the same time, it's not a CCM pump, which I really do enjoy those pumps. Those are some of my favorite pumps on the market, and this is like directly competing with that. And I think the people that are going to buy this are the people that are saving up their money and they're using like phantoms right now or just the single tube um, body and they're not into the autocockers and they just want something super simple, really easy. This is it right here. If you don't want to fuck around with autocockers because I know autococker pumps can get confusing, having to tune them and then all that other stuff. This is the way to go. A lot of people don't want to get CCMs because they don't know how to tune auto cocker pumps. They don't know how to tune auto triggers. They don't know how to do any of that stuff. And I don't. They just overall don't want an auto cocker pump. This is the this is the next second best option. That's how. That's what I would say. This is great. It's really light. It's very easy to maintain. There's a lot of things that you can do to it. I mean, not a lot, but there's a few things that you can do to it. And I just I like it. But at the same time, I don't like it. Like, I like, I really love the feel of it and I love playing with it. But then I remember the price of it. I'm kind of like, yeah, because my mini Oracle shoots just as good as this. You know, Phantoms, I mean, is it, is it really worth the extra $300, $400 is the question. Um, that's what you have to ask yourself. Is it worth buying this? If you have the money, I would say yes. But if you're like, if you're just getting into pump, I would say no, don't buy this if you're just getting into pump and you never have done pump play before. So, but that's just my opinion is I like it. I would buy it, but at the same time I wouldn't because I don't need it. And I can build my own auto cocker pumps and all that stuff with the help of DJ. So, um, that's my conclusion on it. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the pickup if you have the money and you don't want to mess around with the auto cocker pumps and you just want something simple and easy. This is the way to go if you want your higher end pump gun. So thanks for watching. I hope that helps you guys out.